All right. So the first thing I want to talk about tonight is the Mega Manathon that raised over seven thousand dollars. There we go. Have that in the background. Um, oh, that's the uh, ad. Yeah. Neat. So uh, I didn't see that ad enough while I was there or while I was watching. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Um, it, it's not the ad that like it's not the visuals that's so much like ingrained into my brain. It's it's Mega Rand's custom song that he made for for Mega Man Thon Six. Right. Yeah. Which, but it, it's, which, it's, by the way, it's, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's 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 awesome. Um. Uh. Do you want me to kind of run down numbers, Anthony? Real yeah. Quick? Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. So they raised exactly seven thousand seventy-two dollars for Child's Play. Nice. Um, uh, Valer was there. Not that he needs to be announced for that. Um, <laughs> uh, a total of thirty-five Mega Man games beaten, not just played, but beaten nice. during the event. Nice. Which I think is a record at this point. Um, we had over three million unique viewers on Twitch. Nice. That's. Congrats on that, man. That's huge. Um, but one of the bigger things, one of the more interesting things that came out of this Mega Manathon, and I think Valer was there for that because he sent me a couple pictures, but mm-hmm. actually I had a bunch of people send me pictures realistically. Um, they had an idea. What if we try to beat the world record for most wizards in one location? So describe to me, what is a, what do you mean by most wizards? A wizard is somebody who's dressed as a wizard. That's all. Oh, it is. That's oh, all that okay. means. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. Okay. Basically, a bunch of cosplayers dressed as wizards. Gotcha. Um, and they thought, oh, this is a silly idea. We'll get like twenty, twenty-five. Like we're not going to beat the record, which was at two hundred and twenty-five. Would you like to know how many wizards they had in that fucking hall? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Three hundred. Over six hundred. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? And that's and like that, and that's just wizards. Like there were a ton of people who weren't dressed up also there. Was like I think I think was, uh, was, there, was, was there a theme for this year's Mag uh, Magfest to be to be wizards? No, or was it just no? Like- this was just an idea that they had. They wanted to try to do for fun. Wow. Okay. That's that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. This was just a side thing. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Valera, please get the uh, the official Guinness World Record description because it's. I think their official one is like 500 and something. That's crazy. But I know I know that like they had counted more tickets or they saw more. I don't know. But anyway, literally like 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 Balthazar, who's part of Half Empty, who did the sound and stuff. Um, Brittany Saturn. They they were basically like there were people from the stage all the way back. Like I'm, when I say all the way back, I'm talking about like to the door. Like That's... Brian had to get up on stage and be like, this path right here needs to stay clear because fire hazard reasons. That's insane. Um, that is it was insane. like, yeah. Like, when I was there last year, that location had a lot of people during the musical events. Right. But that was maybe like 150 people. Having close to 800 people in that in that hallway. And that, when I say 800, I'm talking about like, that's, that's my guesstimate. Just on the idea that if there was over 600 wizards and then a bunch of other people, it had to have been like close to 800 people. Um, I can't imagine how just like, holy shit crazy that was that's, so, that's uh, insane that is insane um so my next question is what defines a wizard like what particular criteria would you have to be wearing to be labeled as a wizard um i think the criteria from what i had heard about it by the way uh valer put a thing in the chat uh yeah I need, that I'll says uh that. Yeah, it says the most people dressed as wizards in 2000 or is 252 achieved by maxi potential in the UK in Alderney Edge UK on on the 19th of 2016. The event was part of Wizard Walk, an event to raise money for Max Bailey. It aimed to raise awareness for his condition, scoliosis. Wow! And you guys blew that out of the water by like what 400? We tripled it. Yeah. At least tripled it. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, insane. <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, they had two people, two official people from Guinness there and whatnot. It was that's super cool. Absolutely, it was that's awesome. That's super yeah. cool. Wow. Uh, but you know the other thing, the other reason, and I think this is genius. Like, like Brian would say to me, like, the the great thing about Mega Manathon versus other marathons, like let's say the Zeldathon or or right, uh, right, you know right. like like stuff like that. Those are like personal, and they're in a living room. Uh, Mega Manathon and AGGQ, for that matter, are at a convention or a festival, if you will. Yeah, that that's so, what helped that out. Yeah. 
So they're like for Mega Man Five specifically, there's the there, there's the need to not only draw an audience on Twitch, but also get people there live. I can't tell you. I couldn't. I couldn't guess how much of the donations were from, um, were from that group. Yeah. Like from that giant group of wizards. I can't like. It had to have been quite a bit. I, I would imagine um, so. I would imagine so. If you're there at the event and you got people passing by in, you know, for charity, like I'm more than likely that they were um, putting in money when they can. Because like freaking they made what they raised again. What was the number again? Like seven point. Uh, what was the total for, number for, for the whole event? The uh, the the amount the money raised it was it was seven thousand seventy two. Yeah, that's it's good. It's really good. It's a really good. It's a really, really good uh, donation number. Um, yeah, no, it's I I, I popped in every once in a while just kind of checking out to see what's going on because I was watching other things as well. Um, and uh, like the I always enjoy a lot watching the music uh, at uh, at the event. It's just, it's always really cool, really chill. Yeah, uh, you know I. I, I tried to be as much of a moderator as I could during, uh, I'll tell you this much, like I had a bit of a problem where I forgot how bad Twitch chat can get. <laughs> and uh, at the beginning, at the beginning of um, the first group, which was the Nerdy People of Color Collective, right, right. Um, I was getting very irritated, like very angry at the chat. And I was typing in things that were like intentionally like um, argumentative or like kind of like getting like it was just i was very it was very confrontational and so cody messages me privately and he's just like calm down like be positive like don't instigate them and i was just like yeah you're right you're right i need to chill so my job was was i just kept typing in the links for the artist if anyone was interested mm. uh to go to their their band camp or their website or whatever and i also right, kept right. putting in the don like the donation link mm -hmm. um and uh and like I would always type in like encouraging things like oh this artist is awesome like things like that that was my goal, um, and and you know Cody messaged me he's like that's perfect dude like keep doing that. My problem was is the chat was moving very quickly and Jason and Remelay had that under control of banning and and timing people out to the extent that if like if I tried I'd mess it up and click the wrong name. It was funny. So, it was funny you mentioned it because I saw somebody today who got banned accidentally from the AGDQ uh, chat today. The same situation where they typed in something really nice, but they got banned for it. <laughs> but overall, I mean, overall, dude, like, thank you to Half Empty Entertainment for hosting it and and Magfest for for letting uh, you know Heat do it there. And we made we raised a lot of money for a charity that I fully believe in. And um, I wish I was there again, but I couldn't make it. And uh, I'm just very happy to see that how well it turned out so yeah definitely shout out to have, have empty again not only for the host uh for tonight uh, from the event but like they've uh they've done some awesome work um for charity and um they're an awesome crew so definitely if you guys haven't ready check them out give them a follow you know tell them like we said hi uh i don't think we can rip oh I, real quick i just saw uh josh say in the chat i forgot josh was in the chat uh for both the for all three of the musical events oh nice Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Good, good so Josh story. also had to deal with, with the, the just apps like the too much during part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> On both sides, not only in real life, but also in the virtual world at the same time. 